first guest has won two Emmy Awards for her role as Ray Romano's quick-witted wife, Deborah, on Everybody Loves Raymond. Please give a warm welcome to Patricia Heaton. Aren't, you, you, aren't they great? It's I mean, a combination stock boot. That's all in one. Yeah. How about that? Huh? That's a great idea. Oh, yeah. I got to get me some of them. They're nice, eh? <laughs> Congratulations on the on the show winning its first Isn't Emmy. Isn't that first, great? First yeah. time. It's about time. Yeah. It's about time. No, I was uh, I was really thrilled. I was thrilled for the writers because it's all about the writing, you know, and uh, and thrilled for Deborah Messing. Truly thrilled for her. You seem like it. <laughs> you seem. No, I actually, you know, her joy was so palpable, and I know what that feels like. But yeah, you've uh, won twice. So I've won twice. But you know, I have a, a, a three Emmy ego, so there's a oh. there's a deep chasm there that hasn't been filled yet. But um, no, I just <laughs> love to win. Yeah. Damn it. Yeah. <laughs> I was so thrilled for her, but I hated losing. Yeah. What the hell? And of course, you know, the gift basket thing, which is you missed out on the gift because so you didn't important. even present. I didn't even present. You, you know that if when you win or if you present, the, you get this unbelievable gift basket. Well, this is the thing. I shouldn't be so greedy because I have stuff from a gift basket I got like four years ago. Still? Yeah, I have a block of soap in my dressing room. It's a glycerin honey oat bar. Uh -huh. And it was about the size of a cement block when I got it. Mm. That was three years ago. That's handy for soap. Yes. <laughs> So uh, I'm working with Ray, so I wash my hands about six times a day. Oh, yeah. And still, <laughs> as you all know. <laughs> and um, so now it's like the size of a brick, you know. And uh, so I really don't need another basket. I mean, I have this thing of they give you essential oils. I don't even know what the essential part is about it. Well, <laughs> but it's in, it, you must have it. You them. must have it. Yeah. Um, but it came in like the size of a moonshine jug. I mean, you gotta put it on like this right. over your shoulder, you know, to get it. And um, that's still there. And I'm well, sure all the has, essential has evaporated. It but. has been a while because now they give you like beds and trips to trips places. Trips to and Tahiti. You, and four years ago, they were giving soap away. And now they're, <laughs> seriously, I mean, I presented this year and they, there was a trip to Bora Bora that's in there. That's what I heard. I, like I can ever go to Bora right, Bora. Right. I'm busy, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so, so basically, you're upset that you didn't win because you're, are you a competitive person? Uh, very. It's, uh, I'm just going to say it, man. I'm yeah. just competitive. You should. I, I, think I that, wouldn't be here if I exactly. wasn't. Um, everything. My kids have started um, surfing. And, um, I, you know, I'm, I want to do stuff also to, to participate with them. I, it's all boys, so I'm not going to skateboard and I don't care about Nintendo. So I thought I'll do surfing. And I want to be good at it, you know. So I, I took a lesson this summer. 45, I took a lesson this summer. Um, you know, I don't like the ocean. Oh, that's how I think. Uh, no, but I don't like the ocean. I don't like being cold. Oh. But I look fabulous in a wetsuit. So, yeah. um, especially with boots like these. I was going to say. With a wetsuit with the stilettos. And, uh, but I told the instructor, you know, I really hate this whole thing, but I'm going to give it a shot. And then I got out there, and there was like a girls' school of surfers next to me, and they were like five. And I'm kind of paddling out, and they're going by me, you know, swimming, you know, gliding in. And I thought, okay, well, screw them, those five-year-olds. Yeah. <laughs> that was the nice version of what I said. Um, <laughs> And uh, so I, I, man, like I got up on that board and, you know, got Are in Are you there. serious? Yeah, and it was great. And it was really great. I really loved it. And I am not an ocean water person at all, you know, but that, that was yeah, really great. Yeah, it seems great. like it would be freezing. That's the one thing. First of all, it seems hard to much less stand on it, but to get up on it while it's moving and stand. If I had two people holding on to me, I probably could stand on it. I don't, I, you know, I'm pretty short, so I think it's easier because I'm lower to the board, so I think that helped. And he, but, and I kind of just planted my feet and sailed in. And he said I looked like that Hawaiian King Hakamako who, who like, used to just, he used to just sail in on his yeah. board with his feet planted. And I thought, oh, great. And I also, you know, I just think also Raymond's going to be over. You know, I might start looking at, like, doing movies or something. So you and should surf? 
So, well, <laughs> this well, is what I figure. They'll bring, they'll bring the Gidget back series now, but she'll be just about my age, so it'll be Gidget goes through menopause. Oh, that's great. <laughs> that's great. Um, <laughs> yeah. The Gidget breaks the hip is what it's going to be. <laughs> I mean, I'm 45 too, and I would be scared to death to do that thing. But let me ask you this real quick: the the wetsuit thing yes. is it the same thing as like the scuba? Are you supposed to pee in your suit? <laughs> Don't. It's true. Have you ever heard of that? You're, no, I didn't. It's, it is. They say that you're supposed to do that. I've never done it, but that's what you're supposed to do before you. Mean you if you, if you no, just can't hold it, you no, just go. No, not if you just can't hold <laughs> it. <laughs> Stay ritualistically, warm. No, like, to stay warm. I don't have to stay warm. Yes. I thought you were like you had to mark your territory so no one no. else will put your suit on or All something. Right. You know what? Because I seem crazy right now. We're gonna go to commercial. I promise you, this is not, I'm not making this up. We'll be right back with Patricia you Heaton. You get an expert on it. We're back with Patricia Heaton, and I just want to say I we I because I don't want to look like I'm crazy. Spence, our, our cue card guy, you you'll go on record. You. you you surf? Yes, I do. And? I've done it. Peed in the wetsuit. He's peed in the wetsuit. Thank you. I don't, I don't want to look like I'm saying stuff like that when that, I, that's what I heard. I've never done it, but anyway, so today is a big, everybody is celebrating something. We have people in the audience celebrating their 17 year uh, wedding anniversary. You're celebrating 13 years. Is it today or yesterday? It uh, was. You don't even know, do you? <laughs> no. <laughs> it was yesterday, and when I was talking to your producer earlier, he said, and so you have an anniversary coming up. And I said, I do? And he said, yes, it's <laughs> next week. And I was like, oh, thank you for telling me. And, and I even so, I forgot to mention it to my husband, so I'll say, happy anniversary, honey. And, uh, I was just waiting so I could say it on national television. Oh. That's uh, <laughs> it's so romantic, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> So you really didn't remember 13 years? I didn't, you know. <sighs> we, we have a great marriage. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I, listen, I'm not Dr. Phil. You don't need to tell me what's going on. <laughs> It's really great, but that you know, we've got four kids, and just stuff—it just flies by, and you can't remember everything. And sure. there's things you want to forget, and <laughs> so you just <laughs> like the wedding, yeah, like you, the wedding. Yeah, what, you, what was going on at the wedding? Well, I met him. I, I, I uh, was mo was moving into a, an apartment in New York to be closer to the guy I was dating, and I was subletting my now husband's apartment. Uh huh. So I could be closer to the guy I was dating, and 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 uh, you know, he just was. Well, he was British, sorry. <laughs> and, you know, said all those phrases. It was all very attractive and sort of, you know. Um, and, uh, but he was an actor, and I just thought, oh, creepy actor. Yeah. And, <laughs> and, you know, it's, now we have four boys. <laughs> so yeah. what happened in between there? Yeah. I mean, at the, at, well, the, at the wedding, we were going down the aisle, and, you know, I was just sobbing, and my friends were like, oh. Oh my gosh, that is so sweet the way you were crying all the way down the aisle. And the fact is, I just knew I was making the biggest mistake of my life. <laughs> and that's why I was weeping. And I'm thinking, why, why am I doing this? Why am I doing this? So, but here we are. Here yeah. we are. <laughs> and, well, uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, you got, you, uh, I still have my maiden name. Heaton, and uh, he, he keeps saying, why don't you change it? Why don't you change it to Hunt? You know, and I just, just, not yet, not yet. Yeah. Give it another 13 years yeah. and we'll see. No, well, we're doing great. Though. No, it sounds like a great relationship. Just... Um, <laughs> so, somehow you have four boys. Somehow I don't know happened. what happened, but. <laughs> now, the, I can't, and they're all under 11. You have four boys? Yeah. How they're old are like they? 22 months apart. Well, the four, six, eight, and 10. So, you know, that is, another, you know, it's those kind of things that make you a little bitter. I mean, my husband could not wait, <laughs> could not wait until I healed, until I finished nursing, you know, yeah. I go right back yeah. and have another you, one. So. You have some say in it, you know, uh, <laughs> I think, but now, so yeah. how many, that, that is, because I hear boys are so much different than girls in their energy anyway, but how many like baseball bats and trucks and yeah, th you must have it's all, all it's all over the house the the uh, every all that all that kind of crap and it's all over the house. <laughs> and Look, I am really
really, a, I'm a. Here's I'm the a, boys. Where's the picture? I'm a guy mom. I love, oh. love being with them. And uh, there they are at a neighbor's house, I probably not even really home. <laughs> <laughs> but last night, have you seen them lately? This is yeah. them. <laughs> <laughs> I was with them all weekend. We, Friday night we went to see a dog movie. Saturday night we went to a skateboarding thing at the Staples Center, a Tony Hawk thing. And Sunday we rented a dragon movie called Reign of Fire, which was so cool. Yeah. <laughs> I, I secretly love being in a house full of testosterone. Because, really? Oh, I just get to watch stuff blow up, and I love those kind of movies. I love <laughs> Independence Day and Reign of Fire and Lord of the Rings, and yeah. Is that sort of like the movie that you just did? For, that's in, in January? It's going to be on TNT? Yes, I did uh, Goodbye Girl. Well, uh, that's not like of, that at all. No, well, uh, <laughs> no, that's a sensitive love story yeah. and comedy. Yes. And that's on in January? Yeah, uh, for TNT in January. Meet Jeff Daniels and Hallie Eisenberg, yeah. All right, and Everybody Loves Raymond is on Mondays at 9 o'clock right. on CBS. Thank you so much oh, for being with us. Oh, it's good to be here.